Okay, this is the situation report in Abuja. My name is Kingsley Matthew, and I'm here to update you on what is happening in Abuja currently because of this fuel subsidy. I came to buy fuel, and I met one kind queue like that. I was like, ah, some people we are outside and they dug the gate, why some people are inside? Well, when I parked my bike and I entered inside the filling station, I saw some um, people with a camera. They are wearing a NTA um, clothes. And I saw cameraman, as you can see, he's um, videoing the, 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 the fuel price. So, but something strange was happening before they came in. The filling station, the fuel attendants, they were selling with one um, pump. Meanwhile, there are more than four pumps there, but they are selling with one pump. The reason why they are doing this is because they just want to delay so that people will not buy the fuel finish. And so that when the price skyrockets, they will start selling it costly. That's the reason why they are using one um, pump. So immediately they saw those um, police people and the, the NTA people coming to interview them and uh, record what is happening. They started selling with the other um, pumps. They started selling with more than three pumps, pretending as if they have been selling with it before. <laughs> this country is furniture. After we'll be shouting um, government, 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 but now we citizens are in the course of these things. Eh? In just less than 24 hours, we and Tinibu announced removal of um, fuel subsidy. People started selling um, fuel costly. The uh, black market that I priced while coming to the fuel station, the woman told me that she she's selling 500 naira per liter, that she she bought it 350 in the fuel station, that there is no fuel at all. I didn't buy from her because I didn't believe her. So I said, let me just use my eye and see. I drive down close to this finish station and I saw that they are selling. I said, okay, let me come and check. Behold, they are selling 195. So why would that woman be lying that they are selling 350? And she, she wants to sell her own 500. You see why we are the cause of all these things that is happening? We, we, we citizens, we are the problem. So back on what is happening, you can see the soldier people, they are, they are um, seizing um, people's gallon. The black market, the people that are buy, buying from Galon, they are seizing it. So this is my report to that waiting happened um, yesterday as I went to buy fuel. Yesterday was um, started of um, um, May. So this is what is happening. So tell me what is happening in your own location. How how is this fuel subsidy affecting you? Affecting your business? How are, how are you people coping? Are you getting fuel at all? Have they increased their prices? What's the price? What are they selling in your area? Please drop it in the comment section. Thank you.